Hey guys, Modeling Weekly here. This week I'm bringing you another one of my tutorial videos. I've had a lot of people asking me how I airbrush camouflage on aircraft, specifically RAF two-tone, and it's fairly simple, though it's easier to explain in a video. I can't say I've fully mastered it yet, though I feel I've reached a decent skill level. So here we are, let's get straight into it. The key to getting nice details with an airbrush is trigger control though another very important factor is how clear your nozzle is. A partially clogged nozzle will cause spatter, giving your camouflage an unrealistic, grainy appearance. To effectively clear your nozzle, I'd recommend buying a nozzle cleaning needle, which you can buy on Amazon. Otherwise, you can follow my tutorial on the subject, which is in the description below. If your airbrush has a method of restricting trigger movement, activate that now. It's a great way of preventing accidental overspray, which could end up in spidering or unwanted blotches on your paintwork. It's very important to thin down your paint. For lacquers or hybrids such as Tamiya, I'd recommend a ratio of about 60 to 70% thinner to between 30 and 40% paint. This increases the drying time as well as improving paint flow, making it easier to continue a smooth line. Also, if you have a paint retarder made specifically for your type of paint, use some of that. It helps to prevent a blockage forming in the nozzle. To spray, I would recommend using a maximum of a 0.4mm nozzle, though this is still a little big. The ideal range in my experience is between 0.15 and 0.3mm. 0.6mm, for example, is pretty much too big. Set your pressure to about 15 to 20 psi to avoid spidering. A high pressure would end up in blowing the paint across the surface of your model, ruining the effect. Before spraying directly onto your model, practice, either on a paper towel or ideally a model that you don't really care about messing up. I use an old Spitfire for example which has been designated as the experimentation model. Get a feel for your trigger, deciding how far back you need to pull it in order to get the best result. Spray from a distance of about 5cm, though this could be even closer depending on how big your nozzle is, and how confident you feel with your movement. Make sure you don't stay in one position for too long, as this would most likely cause spidering. Also, don't apply too much paint at once, you can always go back and sharpen up an area later on. I recommend starting with the outline of the camouflage, as this makes it easier to see which areas need to be filled in with colour. From there, simply continue painting and filling in all areas. Keep bearing in mind your trigger control, make sure not to overspray or spider the surface. If you are getting a grainy result or your paint is spattering, you need to do one of three things. You could thin your paint a bit more, though if it's already heavily thinned then I wouldn't recommend doing this. Another fix could be increasing your pressure a tiny bit, or you could try cleaning out your nozzle even more. Spraying closer to the model could also help to alleviate this. If none of this works and you are still getting a grainy result, then there is the possibility that either your nozzle is damaged or the paint you are using isn't the best for airbrushing. My favourite paints for this sort of thing are Tammy Acrylics, Mr. Colour Aqueous Acrylics and sometimes Boeco Model Air, though this stuff dries pretty fast and can clog your nozzle if you don't use some sort of paint retarder. Well that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you are having any lingering problems or something isn't working properly, feel free to comment down below and I'll try to help you as best I can. If you found this video helpful, feel free to drop a like so we can reach even more modelers. And if there is anything you think I missed, feel free to leave it in a comment. That's it for today and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!